For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Shalom Church, Brother Mike, man of God, on fight for Christ. Um, Merry Christmas to all the saints um, that may be watching this video. Merry Christmas to all of you guys, okay? Um, I want to I want to share this video because um, I watched Minister Paul video and it was exactly um, I had a dream just yesterday exactly of um, what I'm about to tell you guys and that's me being chased and um, I was led to do this video okay you guys um, in the dream I was being chased um, by it looked like the police but i noticed when i was being chased that it was helicopters it was a manhunt for me it was it was, it was like a, a city-wide manhunt for me and i was trying to get back to my wife and my kids and everywhere that i went these police officers was trying to grab me and in this dream once again i can fly um they would try to grab me and I would get tired of flying, tired of flying. I'll get, I'll come down and, and try to get some rest. And they was trying to apprehend me. And I knew when they grabbed me that they didn't mean any good. And uh, I got down on the, uh, on the, um, got down to the ground and I tried to hide behind these trash cans. And the police officer was right there and said, come, come, come up out of there. He put the cuffs on me, but I noticed when he put the cuffs on me, my hands was able to get out of the cuffs. Don't ask me how my aunt, my hands was able to get out of the cuffs and I pushed him and I flew away. He said, it don't matter where you go. We're going to be able to get you. And I said, you're not going to be able to get me. You're not going to get me. You can try. And I took off and I started flying again. And I was trying to get to Debbie. I was trying to get to my kids, you know, and I knew that they was right behind me. They was right on my tail. And then I woke up. Okay. And Minister Paul was saying that he had a, a, a same dream of police chasing him and that they was trying to kill him. I know that these are spiritual attacks because we are on the wall for the Lord. We love the Lord. And I know that we're reaching many people on YouTube. God has blessed me and so many other people that's uploading videos about Jesus Christ. And when you're on the wall for the Lord, you're going to be under attacks. And that's just what these attacks um, are. They're just attacks and we're going to continue to preach the word of God. And I just thank God for everything that he has done for me. And I thank God that it was just a dream. Um, but that was the dream. And if anybody um, have any interpretations for it, you guys can um, email me or call me. My number will be in the description box. But I want to tell you guys how 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 blessed we are to be in the generation, to be in the time that we're living in. We're living in a wonderful time, you guys, where every generation um, uh, has has looked for the Lord. And throughout the whole Bible, you know, it tells us to look for the Lord all the way in Genesis, all the way, all the way through all the books, especially in the in the New Testament, you guys, especially in the New Testament. Um, Matthew. Jesus is a bridegroom coming for his bride. And Mark, Jesus is on a long journey and he has committed a task to his people till he return. In Luke, Christ, Christ goes on a, a far journey and leaves his possessions, right, to trade till he comes. In John, he says he goes to prepare a place for us. And if I go, I will come again and receive you that where I am, you may be also. In Romans, Jesus comes uh and all things are beneath his feet. Amen. And, and 1 Corinthians, Jesus comes to raise the dead. 2 Corinthians, Jesus tells us of our new houses, our new bodies. Amen. In Philippians, it tells us that our conversations are in heaven, which we look for the coming of the Lord, um, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And Colossians, when Christ shall appear, uh, we shall also appear with him in glory. Amen. Um, in Thessalonians, first Thessalonians tells us to wait um, for the son from heaven. Right. Who shall deliver us from the wrath to come. In second Thessalonians, Jesus is coming for all of his saints. He's coming for the church. 
Amen. And Titus Christ is coming and he's our blessed hope. And James, um, he, um, James tells us to be patient to the coming of the Lord. Amen. In the, in the book of Revelation, Christ is going to reveal himself. It's a revealing to the whole world and every eye is going to see Jesus. Every eye is going to see him. It says even the ones that pierced him, even those that's in hell, every eye is going to see him when he comes back. Amen. So we got to continue to look for the Lord. And I know people are saying, oh, where's the coming of the Lord? You know, all things remain the same. Peter Peter wrote about this before Peter died. There's going to be people that's going to scoff at you about the coming of the Lord. There's going to be people that, that that's going to scoff at us for looking at Christ. But I just read to you all of these scriptures. This is the hope of the church that we look for the coming appearing of the Lord. He said, watch for the time when you think not the Lord is going to come. And people get on me about it. Oh, that's all he talk about is the coming of the Lord. That's all he do. And that's all he. But you know what? I want to please him. I want to please him. I'm not here to please man. I'm not here to please. I'm here to do what the father tells me to do. Amen. And he told me to warn people of his return. Amen. And if I just told you all the descriptions in the New Testament is all talking about looking for Christ's return. Jesus is going to return. The devil is a liar. He's going to return. And it's going to be at a time when we think not. This whole world, nobody is going to know when Jesus returns. No man is going to know the day and the hour. These people can stop setting dates. These people can stop saying what money is coming back. Nobody is going to know. The Bible tells us Jesus just said to watch. And that's the church. We got to watch every day. For when you think not the son of man coming, that's what the word of God says. Not even the angels know when the Lord is coming. How do people know when he coming? Amen. The angels don't even know. And they're in the presence of God every day. And they don't know. Come on, somebody. Amen. So we got to continue to watch and look and wait and be patient to the day of the Lord. Like James says, be patient. Now, I want to take you guys over to um, 1 Timothy chapter 4 and the very first verse. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, the very first verse. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the later times um, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Amen. Let me read that again. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils i'm telling you anything that's going against jesus christ anything that's going against the bible anything that's going against our lord and savior is uh, uh doctrines of devils demons giving heed to seducing spirits they tell you that the bible is not literal the devil is a lie. This Bible is literal. There's a literal heaven. There's a literal place called hell. He said every knee shall confess in heaven above on earth and underneath the earth. What's underneath the earth? It's knees underneath the earth. It's people underneath the earth. There's a hell. You better take this Bible literally. It says uh, uh, in, in the later days, there's going to be um, he, people giving heed to seducing spirits. The Bible tells that if any man suffer, let him suffer as a Christian. It doesn't say any other thing but a Christian. A Christian is a follower of Christ. Christ-like. Amen. All the, uh, anything that's going against our Lord, anything that's going against the Bible, you're trying to add to his word. You're trying to take what well, that don't literally mean. This and that don't literally mean doctrines of demons, giving heed to seducing spirits. You better take the word for what it is. And I'm telling you, you better be looking for the Lord. The Bible tells you to watch. People get tired of watching. You're going against the word of God. He says, watch ye always. Amen. Don't give heed to seducing spirits. And another scripture I want to give you guys. I want to give y'all 1 John. 1 John chapter 2 verse 12. 1 John chapter 2 verse 12. Um, it says, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you 
for his sake. Amen. Praise God. Let me read that again. First John chapter two, verse 12. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. Amen. The devil telling you, you're not saved and you're not this and you're not this and you're not that. The Lord tells me that all my sins are forgiven. If I confess my sins, the Lord, the Bible tells me that he's faithful to forgive me. Amen. The devil is a lie. We're saved because of him. We're saved because it was his blood on the cross. We're saved because we love him. Because first he loved us. Amen. Thank God he said that. Little children, because I write unto you because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. For Christ dying on the cross. We know that we are forgiven and we know that our sins are, for, are forgiven. The devil will try to make you uh, bring up some old stuff. Satan, my sins are forgiven. I'm covered by the blood. Amen. He always try to make you remember some old stuff. He always try to bring up some old stuff. He said, behold, I make all things new. Amen. The Bible tells us that we are new creatures in Christ. Christ nailed those things to the cross. Don't let the devil try to bring them back up. And that's how you, God said you would know them by their fruits. Because once you accept Jesus Christ, you don't do the same things you used to do anymore. Amen. A Christian is supposed to walk in love, not strife. A Christian is supposed to walk in complete, absolutely, completely love for one another because Christ loved us. And if the spirit of God is in you, you're going to love everybody. You're going to forgive. Christ said, if you don't forgive, you will not be forgiven. That's how much he cares about forgiveness. We want him to forgive us. Amen. We must also forgive. I hope this video blesses you guys. And if anybody um, has an interpretation for my dream, the number will be in the description box. My email will be in the description box. I love you guys. Jesus is coming. God bless you guys and Merry Christmas. Come, Lord Jesus, come.